After centuries of exploring the galaxy, finding only war with ourselves, we abandoned our quest for intelligent life and returned to where we belonged, Earth. Resigned to a solitary existence, we architected a flawless civilization, a harmonious union between mankind and its intelligent creations. Perfection was our new quest until we heard a signal, an echo of the past. The signal has drawn us back into the far reaches of charted space, to the planet Ecosystem 09. Uncovering more than we prepared for, our expedition must resurrect the weapons from our past in order to survive and contain the forces that could threaten the entirety of human civilization. At the heart of every human base is the core. More than a headquarters, it is the seat of control for the human commander, as well as the central power source for the entire base. While this limits our ability to expand our base, it does not limit our ability to harvest catalyst. Harvesters are able to provide steady streams of catalyst from the edges of the battlefield. While our supply lines may be vulnerable, the central base is not. Part structure, part soldier. Our sentinels protect the core. Anti-heavy sentinels are the backbone of our defenses. Their turret cannons are highly effective at piercing through armor and shredding ground troops at short distances. For longer range defense, we have artillery sentinels. Anti-air sentinels provide protection against enemy aircraft, and detector sentinels expose cloaked or invisible enemy units. Our self-powered energy walls define the perimeter of our domain. These walls use an intelligent force field that distinguishes between friend and foe. This permits our forces to shoot and move through freely while blocking enemy movement and fire. New to the human arsenal is our latest teleportation technology. While never before utilized on the battlefield, teleportation allows us to reconfigure the base design by transporting structures anywhere on the power grid. This allows us to reconfigure infrastructure or our defenses as the battlefield changes. Our teleportation technology is not just limited to moving buildings. Our line of sight teleporter is a special structure that allows us to instantly teleport a select number of units to any visible location on the battlefield. To establish and maintain air superiority, each offensive aircraft requires the construction of an air pad that refuels and rearms. Resurrected from our warring past, our drones are far from relics. The Trident and Revolver are the primary armaments in our forces. Quick and fast to produce, they can outnumber and overwhelm the battlefield. The Trident excels at taking punishment, while the Revolver's three turrets dish it out. Next is the Gladius, our main battle tank. Perfected over decades of interplanetary warfare, the Gladius's armor and powerful cannons make it a good all-purpose ground unit. Its 360-degree turret provides independent movement and targeting. For scouting and covert ops, we send out daggers. Equipped with advanced sensor and cloaking technology, these small drones can detect hidden units while remaining invisible. Protecting our forces from air assaults is the longbow. Unleashing a deadly spray of projectiles ensures the skies remain clear of enemy aircraft. For long-range fire support, we have the howitzer. This mobile artillery platform devastates enemies by shelling them with high-explosive landmines. Mines that do not find a target remain active for a short period, increasing their effectiveness in the presence of large forces. Our strongest ground unit is the Lancer. Powered by a plasma stellarator, the Lancer's beam intensifies as it remains focused on a target. This is particularly devastating to enemy structures. 
With unit production centralized in the base, aircraft serve a special function to the human battle force, rapidly able to mobilize and reach across the battlefield. The Monitor is a reconnaissance aircraft designed for finding and reporting on enemy positions. Although it has no armaments, its long-range vision is an extremely effective weapon on the battlefield. For heavy ground assault, we have the Scimitar, suited for eliminating large clusters of enemy forces. And then we have the Scythe, our most versatile aircraft. Their directional cannons can assault ground troops into submission, as well as destroy enemy aircraft. While our drones battle at the command of our human controllers, there comes a time when a human is needed on the battlefield. Slowly and intricately assembled, the Alpha Fighter is the ultimate union of man and machine. Able to store inflicted damage and turn it against those who oppose it, the Alpha is the final voice in battle. We came in pursuit of knowledge, but what we discovered is that knowledge is not enough. If this threat is to be contained, humanity must confront its past and return to the seat of command. This war ends here.